Oh gosh, this makes me nervous. <gasps> Hi everyone, I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be trying hair wax. I am super excited about this video. I have never dyed my hair before. I have never dyed my hair. Not when I had permed hair, not when I had longer natural hair, and not with this shortcut. Um, but I have been contemplating dyeing my hair um, for a little bit now. I just feel like I need a change. Um, I want something different. I really want something different. And so I've been thinking about dyeing my hair, but before I dive in head first, I'm like, why not try like hair wax? You know what I'm saying? Why not try it out? And I saw that ORS has the Curl and Leash Color Blast a hair wax. And I found this at my Walmart. They had some other colors, like some blues, and they had this really pretty like violet, like. Oh, it was so pretty. I definitely want the violet. I think I'm gonna go back and get some more and just experiment. But I wanted to show you all how um, this hair wax worked. I know hair wax has been around for a minute now, um, but when I saw them release this, I was like, and since I've been contemplating dyeing my hair, it's like, okay, now's the time. Let's buy it, let's do it. The color that I have is Golden Bars. So yeah, since I'm trying to go like that gold brown route when I actually dye my hair, um, I figured like it'd be nice to try this hair wax and see if I even like that on my skin tone, like it at all. It's gonna be so weird because I've never seen myself with any color hair that's not the hair that's on my head. And I'm just like in that stage in life where I really want to try something like that, try something different, but it's gonna be so weird seeing this on my head. So I have me some gloves here, cause they say apply it with gloves, and I'm going to come back with my hair wet. I have watched some reviews and I feel like it's best that you don't put product on before. I'm not really sure how that's gonna work out for me though, because I have really short hair, clearly, and I also have 4C, like, really, like, tight curls, so I really need something that's gonna give me that oomph. And I also, to get my curls, use, like, a curl sponge, and I'm not trying to get hair wax all over my curl sponge. I don't have an extra one right now, so it's like I don't have one I could use specifically for the wax to curl up my hair with the wax. I wish I did. I should have bought an extra one to use specifically for a wax so I could get the curls that I'm used to. Um, but I, yeah, I feel like using product underneath might interfere. You want this to get directly on the hair, so I'm going to wet the hair and then do, um, and then apply this. So I just wet my hair. It's like dripping all over me, so I have this towel thing, robe thing, wrapped around me. Um, so I have the color. It looks really cool. It smells like cologne. Like <laughs> That's what it smells like. It smells like men's cologne. Or like men's deodorant, you know? Interesting. I mean, I like that smell so <laughs> but um I'm gonna put some gloves on and we're gonna start working this into my hair I'm so excited so excited I I have never seen my hair I have never seen my hair oh my gosh this water is running everywhere I have never seen my hair with color in it I'm so excited. Okay, even though it's gold, it's definitely safe, you know? She's a safe girl. Um, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so I got the gloves. Ooh, it's prettier when you dip your hand in it. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh gosh, this makes me nervous. <gasps> know how I feel about hair color matching my skin that's my biggest issue about this brown thing like I really want a lighter color in my hair I do I want to change but I don't know how I feel like it's only so light you can go you know what I'm saying or then it like 
starts to look <laughs> like your skin tone. Which some people like that vibe. I don't know if that's for me. It's not. I <laughs> When my hair was permed and I would straighten it, it would be like when it was straightened, it looks the same color as my skin tone. And I was like, ooh. But I don't know. Maybe it'll grow on me. This is so cool though. Even though having gold hair is so weird. It's so cool. And my hair is curling up. It's curling up. Oh my gosh. I'm actually, I'm actually not mad. I'm not mad at it. Oh. Okay, keep going. I gotta get the back too. This glove is like, allow me to use my hand like a sponge. I just rub it in. I don't know. I did have like a, some leave-in in, so I think, like, I feel like you can put products under this. It just needs to be light products. Like it doesn't need to be like something super heavy. Like super heavy products would be. Mm. Um, I think would be too much. But a light product, like a little leave-in, I think would be okay. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would be this excited. It's just that I've never colored my hair before. This is definitely making me want to actually color my hair. But I have this temporary for now. Okay. The only thing that makes this not look real, like actually dyed, is the edges. So I feel like I need to clean up the edges because you can just see the paint laying on my edges. You can just see it laying on my edges. So I just feel like I need to clean that up. And when I clean that up, it'll look like my whole, my head is actually dyed. And then another thing is to, so your dark roots don't show through. I would say just really make sure you're getting that, your um, hand in there. So you're covering the roots with wax as well. See, I definitely have some spots I have missed. And I'm sure the back is super patchy. I have another mirror right here. So if I look at that, that can help me. And I've heard that this doesn't um, bleed on your pillows. That's what I've heard. I don't think I'm gonna test it on my white sheets because I literally have white sheets on my bed right now, um, but I think a safe bet, definitely like this might not bleed, but like they have red, they have blue, they have violet, they have, you know, all these more intense colors. I would definitely be scared to put that right on my pillowcases. <laughs> so I feel like with that, you can um, just put, um, like a shower cap, like, you know, like a cheap clear shower cap on and like a bonnet and then cover it up that way. And um, then I'll make sure you protect your, your sheets from, make sure you protect your sheets from the color, but also it's protecting the color because then it's gonna make it last longer if it's not rubbing off on fabric, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Since I've never dyed my hair before, I'm going to show y'all my mom's reaction because she's never seen my hair dyed before. You ready to see? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Right? It looks good, right? Yeah. So I thought it'd be cool if I show my mom's reaction and I'm also going to give you all some updates on how long it lasts or if it transfers and stuff like that. I 
kind of went in so the gold that's like stuck to my skin or was stuck to my skin I just got a wet q-tip and went in like in my hairline to get it off because I didn't want to do too much water or just like a rag because then that would really take the wax off the you know edges of my hair so I just went in with a q-tip and that worked really well um, and then I took this little comb and just try to comb some of the wax right through those fine hairs to make sure they were covered. Um, I showed my mom, <laughs> Phoebe approved, um, mom approved, and yeah, I'm really, I'm really liking this. So I would say if you are trying to experiment with color but you don't want to just dive in just yet, you don't want to bleach your hair just yet or any of that stuff, hair wax is a way to go it'll help you you know come to a determination if you want to go further or if you just want to keep doing it temporarily like this is showing me i need to experiment like let's go let's do more um but you know this is just like if you have a job that doesn't allow you to color your hair or just different things like that this shows you that you can get great results with temporary hair wax you know also it's super super affordable so i i showed y'all the beginning it, but like look how much I've used like I really it's gonna show I really haven't used that much I have a ton left in this jar um, and if you have longer hair obviously you're gonna use a lot more than I do but I can when I want to change up my hair I can just go right to this this is gonna last me a good amount of time and it's only eight dollars um, so yeah I think it's great and I'm really loving the results. So if you want to see me in this hair journey, if you want to see a video specifically about my hair journey so far, when I had permed hair, you know, all the way through natural until this, um, all the things I've tried, then I will do my hair journey video. Um, but if you want to follow from this point on, just subscribe to my channel because I will be experimenting a lot more with my hair, um, trying some fun new things. So yeah, thanks for watching.